It's like being on stage in the band because the cameras were very high quality at the, for the time. I've never seen anything that makes you feel quite so involved with the performance. The quality of the shots is amazing, really amazing. But the energy is there, my God, there's a lot of energy. And the great surprise for me was how good we were. <laughs> We'd been around South America doing a lot of shows with them. We were flying high. There were four of us, you know, we'd go on in front of 100,000 people. No support act. You didn't know what they were going to think. So you better be good. You better not be semi-professional. We had a little period off and then we convened just to do this filming, just these two shows. There were two nights in Montreal. It was always great. I love Montreal. I love the people. I love the city. We shot this double anamorphic and you're talking about film, of course, there's no digital in sight in those days. It's funny also to see all the wires, you know, the wires on the microphone and the guitar, that was life in those days, very different. And it's a four piece, there's no keyboards, there's no percussion, nothing extra. And God, it rocks. I mean, as Roger said when we finished watching it, bloody hell, we weren't bad, were we? You know, it gels together really well. It's fascinating to realize that in 1981, and the performance was so free, there was so much invention. We didn't quite know where, we might know what song we were doing next, but we didn't know quite what we were gonna do with it. And it was so, it's different every night. And I think, you know, you realize the chemistry was so magical. We're very conscious of each other, but also the looseness is great because we're able to interact with each other and change things as we go along. Well, it was all eye eyeball, you know. We would just start stuff and where are you going with this? Where are you going? What do you want to do now? You know, And that's great. That's what it's all about. We were playing real music in front of a lot of people, bouncing off one another and they were digging it. That's what it's all about. We're just kind of loosely feeling things out and then it kicks into the actual beat of the song. The energy in there is incredible. Roger and I both felt we learned something looking at our younger selves and thinking, yeah, we could do a little bit more of that. We could be a little more loose with each other, a little bit more experimental. By that point, we're, we're kind of at a peak and I think Freddie was at a peak. He was physically absolutely on top, so fit. And his voice is great, he's not suffering He's not fighting any sort of injury to his voice. It's beautifully crystal clear. On IMAX, it's astonishing, isn't it? Wonderful to see how his face works and his muscles work and uh, how his moustache works. <laughs> it's something you, you really treasure these days. You want to see every breath he takes. Why not? You know, it makes us very emotional seeing that. My God, he was good. And Fred was just the most inspiring inspiring uh, front man. He was wonderful. I have no bad memories, just joy working with him. I think it comes over actually in this film. I guess it's a good snapshot of uh, Freddie, probably near the height of his powers uh, and the band. It's very interesting for me. It was very interesting. Yeah. We were doing it, we were annoyed because there were cameras there, because we didn't really want cameras there. We didn't want to be filmed. Uh, Fred was in a bad mood with our manager, so everything's a little bit fast. But sometimes a little bit fast is quite good, and it gives it an edge. So there's actually more tension than there would normally be in the playing, and I think I can see that. It's quite terse, and some of the tempos are quite fast. Time Mother Down is as I remember it, that's faster than we normally would have played Time and Mother Down. Maybe that's for the good. Oh, I hope they take joy. I hope they're uplifted. I hope they enjoy the songs and the performances. It's really about the performance and the interaction between the band. It's all real. And I think if you're playing music to people, you should be real. And this is a good example of that. Well, here you're looking at a band which is still hungry and still quite young and full of energy and thriving on the audience that we're building. 
and it's a moment in time it's not perfect but it's not bad for a four-piece who are just out there giving it everything they got <laughs> 